Yuanasaka is a high school student with the ability to mind control individuals for five seconds. He takes advantage of his powers by cheating his way into an elite high school by mind controlling other students and using their answers during exams. This allows him to pretend to be a prodigy, and he is invited to be the speaker for incoming students due to his high scores. He attracts jealousy from male students and interest from female students, and constantly has to turn down girls who confess to him after school. This is because he is determined to be the boyfriend of the Madonna of the school, Yumi Shurianagi. Using his powers, he creates a situation where a truck driver almost hits Yumi and then saves her. Then as thanks for his help, he gets a date with her after school. The next day, he is happy with his manipulations but is suddenly called into the student council room. At the student council the president accuses him of cheating due to his perfect scores, and Yu is forced to retake the exam inside the room. A panic Yu takes control of the president but is caught by Nao Tamori who had recorded him using his ability. Now shows proof of his cheating but Yu angrily denies the accusation and attempts to flee. In town, he is suddenly chased by a person using violent teleporting abilities. A student named Jijiro Takajo who works with Nao and is able to capture Yu. Although Jijiro captures Yu, his inconvenient ability gets him injured all the time. Now arrives and asks you to transfer to their school, the Hashinami Academy so that he can study with other students with powers like him. Yu tries to fight her, but now, who has the ability to be invisible to one person, turns invisible and beats him up. That night Yu returns home to his younger sister Ayumi, who tells him Hashinami Academy has sent him a big scholarship to attend the school, and she celebrates by cooking for him. The next day Yu meets Yumi who is thankful to him for saving her, but since he is transferring to a new school, she dumps him. A depressed Yu moves into the academy and is visited by Nao who plays with his sister. Soon it is time for Yu to go to classes for the first time, and on his first day Nao tells him the mission of the academy is to protect students with powers so that outside groups do not take advantage of them. He is horrified to see that he shares a homeroom with Nao and Jijiro. At lunch, since the lunch line is long, Jijiro uses his ability to skip the line but he wrecks the cafeteria in the process. While they eat their sandwiches, Jijiro also tells you that although Nao is the student president, she has no female friends, and her personality changed from middle school. Nao invites them to the student council room where another student uses his power to help locate another potential person with powers. Yu is roped into helping Nao and Jijiro. At the school Nao and Yu chase a suspicious guy, and Yu uses his ability to help Nao and Jijiro apprehend him. They find the student has indecent photos of his classmates, and he reveals he bought them from Yudo who is captain of the archery team. Yuta reveals that he is using the money to help his sick family, and he attempts to blackmail her with a photo he created of her, but is stopped by Yu. Yuto shoots an arrow at Nao but Chijiro blocks it, and she persuades the archery captain to turn himself in. After school, Nao tells Yu about her older brother who was the first person to gain powers while she was in middle school. Her brother wanted to be a musician but Nao's mother sent them both to boarding school after begging them to go. At the school, Nao and her brother were experimented on by scientists, who had discovered her brother's sound ability through his music, and Nao's brother loses his mind. Eventually they escape the boarding school. She later takes Yu to see her brother who lives in an insane asylum and states that a special person took her to the academy and helped her take care of her brother. After spending time with Nao and her brother, he worries about his own sister developing powers. He watches as that night she stargazes again to see a special comet. Later Yu asks Ayumi to stop cooking for him since he can get lunch at the cafeteria, but she insists. And once again Jijiro hurts himself at lunch using his ability. They get a call to report to the student council room, and their new target is a person with two abilities. They investigate in town find out a famous idol named Yusa Nishimori has been in the area, they also catch a man spying on them and after a brief chase manage to capture him. The man is stalking Yusa, and the students meet Sho, a friend of Yusa who takes them to the idol. Yusa reveals that she has multiple personality disorder, and after talking with Yusa's friends, they find out that Yusa had an older sister named Misa who had died and is possessing Yusa's body. An angry Misa starts to light the room on fire but calms down. Now tells Misa about her stalker who works for a shady TV producer. They plan a midnight meeting with the producer, and they take out the producer's bodyguards and beat him up. After the producer is arrested, they persuade Misa and Yusa to enroll in the academy. Since Misa will be leaving, Sho confesses to her and Misa thanks him for helping her, but he should forget about her since she has died and that he has to live his own life. That night Yu tells his sister about what happened after she scolds him for returning home so late. At school the next day Yusa transfers into their class and instantly becomes popular. She is able to charm her fellow students with her kindness and solves their disputes, and she later joins them in their next mission, which is to find a prospective student who has telekinesis. They determine he must be using his powers to cheat at baseball, because his school's baseball team has been winning many matches, 
they meet the baseball pitcher Arafumi, and now asks him to stop using his ability to cheat and warns him not to draw attention to himself. Arafumi refuses, and now challenges Arafumi to a baseball match between their schools and if they win Arafumi will have to stop using his ability. At the match, the group plans to use their abilities to win and Arafumi's team is surprised to see they are playing against girls. The Haushinami team become angry at Nao's attitude but they are calmed down by Yusa. However, they find that Arafumi's pitching is too strong for their team's batters and soon their team starts to lose. Nao asks you to use his powers to help them win, but the enemy school still manages to score one point. Through the combined efforts of Chijiro, Misei, and now they manage to load the bases and although Yu misses his swing the team barely managed to win against Arafumi. Arafumi agrees to stop using his ability, which he was doing because he wanted his catcher Takato to have a shot at becoming a pro player, and now tells him to support his friend by not cheating. The next day Yusa continues to be popular, but Yu notices that a group of girls seem to be bullying and beating up now. Yu doesn't help her, and today their target is a person who has been spotted flying in the mountains. To help their investigation they decide to camp in the mountains. And while the group shops for groceries, Yusa and Jijiro remark that now and Yu look nice together. They make it to the site, and make food until it becomes night. And Yu approaches now who is listening to a band her brother used to like. When Yu listens to the music, he is impressed with how the songs captures the feeling of being alone. After taking turns watching over the campsite they find nothing. So the next day they wash at the nearby street. Their Jijiro reveals to Yu that powers seem to disappear over time as people become adults. They are soon confronted by the student and record him flying. The student tries to flee with their camcorder but Yu mind controls him and the group captures him. They warn him about the dangers of his abilities and now manages to convince him to turn himself in. That night Yu has dinner with his sister but she seems to have gotten sick. Yu takes her out of class and one of her classmates, Kanishi, notices that Ayumi is missing. The next day they discover their next prospective student lives in their dorms. Now suspects it might be Ayumi but does not outright say this. The group go to visit Ayumi with porridge and cookies, and they discover Ayumi's friends Namura and Aikawa have come to visit. Ayumi is shocked to see Yusa because she is a big fan, and they have dinner together. Before now leave she tells you to keep an eye on his sister since it is likely that she will develop power soon. Ayumi also seems to have a bad dream. Yu asks Ayumi to stay at home another day. She decides to sneak out against her brother's wishes. But at school Ayumi runs into Kanishi, who hates Ayumi for allegedly stealing the boy she likes from her and the other girl attacks her. Ayumi runs but is cornered and accidentally uses her new abilities which collapse the building. Yu and the council are nearby and he runs in to find his sister but is knocked out by falling rubble. Yu later wakes up in the hospital and is told that Ayumi died in the collapse. A shocked and depressed Yu stays in his apartment and avoids contact with others. Yusa and Jijiro come to visit and cheer him up but they aren't able to. Yumi arrives to see him and tries to get him to come out of his apartment but he yells at her and tells her to leave. Yu determines that he will be forced to leave his apartment and go back to school, so he decides to run so that the academy can't track him down. He runs from city to city to escape from the others and grows unstable. When he is attacked by gang members, he uses his ability to fight back and his skill over his power starts to increase. One day, now reveals herself, having used her power to keep an eye on him the entire time. She apologizes for not acting sooner with Ayumi, and to persuade him to live a normal life she takes him home and feeds him an omelette rice dish like how Ayumi used to make for him. Reluctantly, he agrees to rejoin the academy. Yu returns to school and starts to adjust to life as a student again. Yusa is creating a new music video, and has her friends review the footage, and at the student council room, now reveals that their mission is to go to a concert together to see the band Jane. After school Yu returns home but runs into a blind woman named Sala who has lunch with him after she hears about the loss of his sister. She reveals that she is actually the vocalist for the band Jane. And since Nao is a big fan of her band Yu asks Nao to meet them but the president turns him down. Yu and Sala continue to eat food and explore and she later tells him about how she became blind by bartering her eyes to God for a more peaceful life. After many people resented her for her singing. That night, with Nao's permission, Yu takes Sala to Kazuki so that she can sing to him. The singing seems to calm Kazuki down a little and improve his condition. The day of the concert arrives and Yu prepares to go to the concert with Nao. They enjoy the pre-concert festivities and watch Sala perform with her band Jane. While hearing Sala sing, Yu feels the song is familiar and is filled with memories of living with his sister at a compound together, where he kept his true abilities a secret and is trying to help his older brother who also has a powerful ability. In the compound, he had met the boy Takito who was the wet boy from the academy, who works with him to free his older brother Shunsuke. 
In the compound he is awoken from the building collapsing from his sister's power, and a scientist asks him to use his true ability plunder to save his sister. He uses his true abilities of being able to not only mind control but take the powers of other users to help free his captured older brother so they can save Ayumi. Hugh's original plan was to work with Takedo who can locate powers, and he can take useful powers to help free his family. Knowing he can't beat the compound's forces, Yu frees his brother so that he can use his ability to time leap. Yu suddenly wakes up with now, and is uncertain if everything he remembered was a dream, but Takedo arrives and tells him there is still a chance to save Ayumi. When now hears that Yu's older brother is Shunsuk, she reveals that he was the mysterious person that recruited her. Takedo takes them to a secret base where they find a crippled Shunsuk who promises to explain everything. It turns out that by freeing Shunsuk, it allowed him to use his ability to time leap into the past before they were captured by the scientists. Using his knowledge of the future, a young Shunsuk recruits his future allies from the future, including Takedo and others who can erase memories and hypnotize others. He explains to you that they created a syndicate of superhumans who protected each other but they often lost to the compound's forces. Shunsuk then went back in time and used gambling to make the group rich, but they failed in protecting all the users. Over time Shunsuk continues to leap backwards in time, but he starts to slowly lose his eyesight. And in his last time leap he creates the academy, to protect his siblings. Siblings, he makes them forget his existence. Now also reveals that the council has been studying you, and has found out that whenever he possessed someone they lost their powers as they were stolen by you. Shunsuk asks him to steal his powers of time leaping, to go back in time and save Ayumi by taking the ability collapse from her. Yu leaps back in time and is happy to see Ayumi again. He explains the situation to Nao. After taking Ayumi's ability, Yu steps in to save his sister from Kanishi and threatens her to leave Ayumi alone. With Ayumi saved, Takedo introduces himself again and takes them to see Shunsuk who is happy to finally reunite with his sibling. Shunsuk shows them his work at the academy which includes researching a vaccine to cure powers, and that the source of the powers come from the comet Charlotte which passes by Earth occasionally and showers the planet with particles that give people special ability. Yu meets his brother's team and spends time with them, but when Takedo heads home he is kidnapped by his driver who is being blackmailed by terrorists. The terrorists force Takedo to use his powers to locate powerful users and they kidnap several students including Nao. Shunsuk asks you to help because he has become the most powerful ability user on earth. The team sends you to fight the terrorists. But an ability user ambushes him and cuts one of his eyes and you accidentally uses his powers of collapse. The team rescues you, but unfortunately in the collapse Takedo was impaled protecting Nao. Yu wakes up in the hospital looked over by his brother's team, but they reveal that Shunsuk blames him for Takedo's death and is avoiding him. Ayumi arrives to see him but she is worried about Shunsuk's state of mind. Chijiro and Yusa arrive to cheer him up with food and encouragement, and Yu asks Misa where do people go when they die? and she doesn't have an answer. Later when he meets Nao, she informs him that Japan is in conflict with terrorists and countries overseas because of the abilities. Yu wants to stop the cycle of suffering, and Nao suggests that he could try to take all the powers around the world and all future powers. This would prevent conflict, but the cost of taking so many powers would weaken Yu's identity and change the person he is. Although she suggested it as a joke, Yu agrees to the plan seriously, and he confesses to Nao. A surprise Nao tells him that when he returns she will love him unconditionally, and he takes her powers. That night he tells his brother Shunsuk the plan and although his brother is upset, Shunsuk agrees. Yu then goes to his school, where Misa and Chichiro have agreed to lose their powers, even though this will be the death of Misa who is inhabiting Yusa's body. They give Misa his farewell note to Yusa, and Yu thanks them for being his friends. Yu enacts his plan and starts to travel around to collect their powers. After taking a power that allows him to find other ability users, Yu becomes good at ambushing them, referring to their powers as a sickness he must take away. After some time he becomes powerful enough to take powers from people who have not yet developed but will develop them in the future, and he begins to take powers from people who use them for good. But taking powers starts to take a toll on you and he starts to lose his memories of everyone, oftentimes blacking out during fights, barely remembering he promised someone to take all the powers in the world. Yu becomes infamous internationally and becomes recognized as the one-eyed reaper as he travels the world taking powers. He becomes unhinged over time and eventually tracks down the last ability users. One of the last ability users almost takes him out but he is defended by another who has the ability courage. After taking their powers he is rescued. Yu wakes up next to Nao but he has no idea who she is. She explains him his mission and that she is his lover, but he can only remember the notes she gave to him before he left on his journey. Although Nao is sad, she is happy to see there is still a little of you left. And they look forward to making new memories together in the future.